So this is what to do if your Senso Comfort is showing a heat generator one fault or a backup heater a fault occurs, heat pump call the competent person fault. So basically you'll come to this screen and your Senso Comfort, both of them, depends on what model it is, it'll show different faults. It will basically say that there is a fault occurred in your system, so you would need to now transfer over to your interface, which will normally be located on your domestic hot water cylinder or in and around a area like this. So when you come to the screen, it normally would present you with an F22 fault, which means your building pressure is too low in your heating system. This means that the heat pump will not operate until you've resolved this fault. So normally on your system, you would have a filling loop like this, which is signified by a flexible pipe going between normally a cold main onto a pipe that's on your heating system. So there normally will be a pressure gauge either connected onto the filling loop or there'll be a manual pressure gauge on your cylinder or on an expansion vessel like this. So to top up your system, what you would want to do is move your valve in line, valve in line. Now you'll see the pressure begins to rise and what you want to do is just put it to roughly a bar and a half to two bar. And once you're done, you would shut both your valves off. Once you've rectified your fault down at your uh, filling loop by topping up the pressure, what you want to do is come back up to your interface here where either it'll show a screen that is back where it's normal operating procedure, where it'll show your bar and your kilowatts, your heat pumps used. It would also show any symbols underneath uh, either a radiator sign or a domestic hot water sign, which was signified as a tap. However, sometimes you will need to press the reset button in order to reset your fault as sometimes the F22 fault doesn't clear itself. In the event that your valent interface is showing a fault code other than F22, you should get in contact with us at one of our information hubs in Pot or Inverness.